grandparents. We evolved to live. One of the things that's most interesting about humans, maybe, is that we evolved to live about 20 years or so after we stopped reproducing. No other animal does that except that orcas, maybe killer whales. But with the exception of killer whales, humans have this really weird life history. We, lo- we, we, we evolved to be grandparents. But grandparents in the old days weren't, you know, retiring to Florida or I don't know where they do, what they do in England or whatever, go to Mallorca or whatever, mm-hmm. and, you know, kick up their heels and play golf or whatever with carts. Grandparents in the, in the olden days, right, or in, in many cultures still today, are working, right? They're working in the fields, they're hunting, they're gathering, they're getting food for their children and their grandchildren, they're helping with childcare. And that physical activity is, you know, th- that's what their job is to be physically active. But in turn, that physical activity turns on an amazing suite of, 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 of physiological processes that counter aging, it turns on repair and maintenance processes that not only keep our muscles strong, but also keep our DNA from accru- accruing mutations, keep our mitochondria numbers high, keep, um, keep our, the cells in our brain from accumulating gunk uh, so that it prevents Alzheimer's and other forms of dementia. I mean, for, almost, for every system of the body, physical activity has, has benefits that slow the aging process. And so when you stop doing it, you accelerate, and that's the way in which you, it perce- you perceive it as accelerating aging. But really, it's the absence of physical activity which lets aging run amok.